Nine people out of ten asked to identify this telescope would plump for Jodrell Bank, and in close-up there is a resemblance. But its size, of course, gives the game away. This is a radio telescope, however, part of the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory run by the Cavendish Laboratory of Cambridge University. And the reason that it's less well known to the public is that astronomers here have less to do with Sputniks and Earth-made satellites than with research into the most distant heavenly bodies yet imagined by man. It's seldom thought that science and art have much in common, yet this masterpiece of scientific engineering, the most powerful radio telescope in the world, has a strange beauty incorporating much of the character we associate with modern sculpture. The research done here is far too complex for most of us to understand, but basically they work by listening to radio waves coming from the depths of outer space. By these methods, they recently discovered a nebula 36,000 million, million, million miles away. Since photographed by the Mount Palomar Optical Telescope, it is the most distant object ever seen. It's probable that the radio stars now being recorded at even greater distances, in other words, invisible galaxies, contain the only available information about the origin of the universe. So that men like Professor Ryle here, the director, may get much nearer to the solution to this vast question. When you consider that man has existed only about a million years, it's almost frightening when you think that here they pick up radio signals which set out towards us 5,000 million years ago. Heaven knows what we've missed.